Hey, what's up, people? This is Dennis, the blogging minutes. Nah, it's just Dennis from iBlogForDollars.com. Want to do a video today on how to set up an amazing blog broadcast message. And what that is, it's a message that goes out through AWeber every time you publish a blog post. Now, this can be very beneficial because it's working while you, you could be sleeping, it's going out. And I'm also at the end, stay tuned to the end, I'm going to show you how I got a 300% open rate, okay? And now, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to add an image to the top. Now, I've seen someone, they wanted to add, uh, you know, their, their branding image or their, what is their logo? They wanted to put a logo at the top. And as you see, when we load up a template, it's pretty basic, Not nothing really special about it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add an image right here. Now, if you didn't add an image, what this is going to do is going to be the name of your RSS feed. Now, you know, before we get into that, let's talk about RSS. Now, RSS is a way for people to stay up with what their blog is doing without actually visiting your blog. So it's, it's, it's just makes people makes reading your content a lot easier. So if you don't have an RSS feed or RSS set up, I suggest you go to feedburner.com. You can see it right here, feedburner.com, and add just or uh, submit your blog to feedburner.com, and it'll create this a nifty little a link like this for you. Put your uh, own custom part at the end, and you'll have your own URL for RSS feed. What you'll do is you'll come back to here and you'll paste it in the RSS feed URL. Now, where this is at, Aweber is messages blog broadcast all right so you will come here you'll paste it in there and that's pretty much it for that part you've got your RSS ready now when you load the template it's already going to load this information right here now quick info about this RSS under slash item block and then you have to close that tag off is RSS item block in now whatever is in that block or inside those those two things it's that's what's going to show up from the RSS feed so let's say you put it right here your title will not show up when you send out a block when, when this broadcast goes out so this is just a way of, of, of keeping it custom it changes every time whatever your blog post name is going to be that's what it's going to be right here now your channel that's going to be like you say uh, I blog for dollars channel, okay? Uh, RSS feed. If you name it that in feed burner, whatever you name it in feed burner, that's what's going to show up right here. All right. And if you have a description of your channel, which I don't know where you set that up at, but it's in feed burner. I just I don't think I set mine up or I deleted it one or the other. But you have to set that up. And now the thing about these item tags. The only thing that will show up inside of these item tags are item tags. So just like you probably was looking at it where it says channel right here and channel is not inside the item block. That's because it's a channel tag. And channel tags just work on their own. They don't need to be inside of a certain block. But let's go get this. Let me go get this template real quick. Now I'm going to first show you how to put an image inside of the header. Now this is my image. Now the best way is to find the image that you want first. Now mine is right here so I'm gonna to go to my source tag and find the okay this is an easy way whenever you highlight something in Aweber I say I highlight it right here I just go to the source and it's already gonna be highlighted for me so that's a quick way to find things that you want in Aweber so I go over here highlight the whole URL and I copy it now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to highlight what I want to delete, where I want to put my image at, basically. I'm going to go to source. And now it's going to be highlighted. And I just press, I'm just going to paste it. Now we're not done yet. Hold on, we're not done. Now we have to do a little bit of HTML coding. Now don't get all, oh, I don't know HTML. I'm going to show it to you piece by piece. All right. You're going to hold the shift, the comma button. Then you're going to type in IMG space src equals then you're going to think this is called a semicolon you're going to type the semicolon now that's it for that side now in all html coding we have to close it off at the end so our next move is to go to the very end of that url we're going to do 
um, the semicolon and we're gonna do shift and period alright now we've closed that tag off now we're done we should have a header alright now my header doesn't look too good in that background it's because my background here is white and that one is red so it's not gonna come out too pretty or it's a light background so it's not coming out too good, but you get the point. It, you know, we got it. We got a header up there. Now, as far as getting it positioned to where you want it, um, it's not really any space for it to move, so it's not going to move left and right. Now, our next move is to the information that we want to show up inside of our blog broadcast. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and copy my information, and I'm going to give you a template. The template is going to link to the template is going to be under this video, so you'll be able to download it and just paste this in there and get to work. It'll be real simple. I'm going to make it real simple for you, okay? Now, remember, we got to stay inside this RSS block. Now, I don't really like this, so I'm going to delete all of this. And I'm just going to paste, all right? Now, we have everything pasted. We got the RSS block and everything inside the RSS block that we want to show up inside the message. Now this stuff right here is never going to change. Everything that doesn't have an RSS tag and all this around it, it's it's never going to change. This is what's going to show up every single message that I send out. Now the RSS title is going to be the title of your blog post. Now remember, RSS title, that's also what's going to show up inside of your, your subject line. Now you could do new message and go like that and let's let this ambulance pass by I stay right down the street from the, from the fire department so I hear it all the time but whatever you put if say you want to do new message or a new blog post that will show up and then it'll pull the information from the from the blog post the title all right so you put you, you put that right here now we have a title you know definitely you're gonna put your name right here and you know this right here is gonna be the date the date that the blog pro the blog post came out, excuse me, and the content. Now the content is going to be your um the full content, the whole blog post. Now I like to send out my whole blog post because I like to give my readers the full um effect of my post right through email. It makes it convenient on them, so they don't have to go back to my site and you know um read my blog post. I may change up in the future. It's all about testing and seeing what works. So we'll see. But I generally I like to send my full message out and I tell them at the end to comment, share. If they really like the message, they're gonna come back and leave a comment. So that's one thing I do know. I mean I've done it before. But I always put my Twitter name, I always put my Facebook name, tell them to follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and I'll probably change it up to something kind of funny. You never know, you never know what me. Alright. Now Another thing I like to do is I like to let them know where, where, when, and how they signed up. So I let them know that you signed up with your first name, you put the email, and you put the sign up date that they sign up, the subscribe date. All right. Now, I also want to let them know that I make money. This is something that I do. So I put my disclaimer policy link down there so they can check it out. They want to know that I make money online from them buying stuff through my links. Now, all of this, these funny looking tags, they come from this personalized tag right here. All right, so you're going to see all of these right here. And I don't think the RSS ones are in here. I don't think the RSS, no, the RSS ones are not in here. All right, but I gave you all the RSS ones you need. And I'll even throw in an extra RSS tag just in case you don't want to show them the full content. I can throw in one that'll show partial content where they'll have to click on a link and read the full blog post at, at your site. Okay? And that is it. Now, our next move is to get all of this information that we want and paste it down here. In the text field because this right here is not going to show any images so we don't really have to worry about how it's going to look we just need the message down there and that's it now to the tricky part we want this message now I send out all my messages at 9 a.m. 
um, my, that's that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually going to set up another one to go out at around five or six when people are just getting off work, so I can get people get more people reading my messages. Um, but I get generally like a 25 to 30 percent open rate from these automatic messages that go out after from these automatic messages that go out right after or right after I send out a blog post alright now I, I suggest you keep this at one because if you don't it'll send out it'll wait till you get like two or three messages sent out and then it'll send them out so I like to send out my messages when it hits one when it's full and ready to go it sends out one message I don't want to send them two and three messages they may unsubscribe because they're getting too many emails from me hey before we go any further I wanted to mention something real quick that I forgot to mention the on a specific day or month on all this on a specific day or days of the month that is how you're going to send out your broadcast messages at a specific time so run through that find the time that you want to send it out and your message will be going out at a specific time okay all right now you can I like to set it up to send automatically so it sends out 9 a.m. every every time I submit a blog post it will send out 9 a.m. that next morning all right and this is how I got 300% open rate. I sent it out to my social media account, my I blog for dollars on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on that, by the way. But as soon as it sends out, it also goes to Twitter. Now, if they click that link, that is automatically um, considered an open because they opened the link. So they read my email and that gave me a huge amount of opens. And, and I only sent that, I didn't even send it to close to the amount that. I got the opens for so that I mean all I had to do is get like you know 40 50 clicks from 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 Twitter and I've already went way over a hundred percent so if you sync it to go to your Facebook and your Twitter accounts there's a great chance that you getting a lot more opens so definitely make sure you sync it to Twitter and Facebook all right now that is it um let's check everything else make sure yeah make sure you track your click so you can see how many clicks you're getting you'll be able to see who's clicking links who's opening your emails and you know if somebody's not opening emails kick them off they're wasting your space because truth be told you're paying for every subscriber it doesn't look like it but you are so every person has a dollar on their hair on their head so if they're not opening your emails they're wasting money they're taking money out your pocket so delete them all right now that's it for how to create a blog broadcast message coming straight from your blog if you have any questions make sure you go to iblogfordollars.com and check out the contact me tab in the top left hand corner I believe yeah it's gonna be in the top left hand corner and click that shoot me an email ask me a question I'll be glad to help you out maybe walk you through it if you need some more assistance and for the record I put the template that I use to create my broadcast messages I put a link to it in the bottom so that or under this video so that you'll be able to download it and just get to work and I, I made everything easy for you so you can just go copy it paste it and then type in what you want to say alright I hope you found this video helpful if you did make sure you like it share it with your friends make sure you hit up iblogfordollars.com and subscribe to my blog so you can get blog updates and stay stay up to date with the newest SEO and you know just internet stuff alright so once again, thanks for watching. And hey, if you don't have a weapon yet and you're thinking about it, you're crazy. 90%. I, I'm, I don't know if it's really 90%, but I get a lot of emails and most of them are from a Weber. So make sure if you don't have a Weber, it's only a dollar for the first month. You can try it out. If you don't like it, cancel it. But I think you'll love it if you're really passionate about internet marketing. But you know, it's only a dollar. So check it out. Put a link to that too. Once again, this is Dennis with iBlogForDollars.com. Thank you for watching.